In this experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to compare the reactions of potassium with that of a, an amalgam or mixture of sodium and potassium. Here we're just taking out some potassium, which is stored under oil. You can see it's got the consistency really of a hard cheese. And what we're going to do is just cut off a small piece of this and then put it in some water and have a look what happens. So there we are, we've got a couple of pieces broken off and what we'll do is we'll put this back into its container under oil before we actually start the experiment. Now we'll take just a small piece of this potassium, there we are, a very small piece, and we'll see as it goes in it immediately catches fire. A little bit of a small piece, let's try that again. And there you've got this lilac flame of potassium. It melts, it ignites the hydrogen giving off and burns with that characteristic flame. Now, what we're gonna try and do is take a small piece of potassium and with that we're going to put a small piece of sodium and what I'm going to try and do is cut the two together to sort of try and get them to mix and as you can see it's a little bit fiddly trying to get this working we'll try and do this on a little lid I think it might make life a little bit easier and so what we need to try and do is sort of basically get the two to mix and this is really quite difficult to try and get done they don't really want to mix terribly well but as I start to mix them you can see that we get a liquid forming because the potassium and sodium amalgam or alloy has a lower melting point than either the sodium all the potassium. You can see it's already sort of liquefying as I sort of carry on with this. And there you can see quite a, a liquid metal. Right, now we've got the amalgam or alloy, we're going to try and extract a small piece of this and put it in some water and see what happens. So let's take a small piece on the scalpel and drop it into the water. It burns with a sodium flame because that sort of masks the less intense lilac colour of the potassium and what we're going to do now is let's try and do that again and there we can see even really more reactive than the potassium that we've used what am I going to do with the rest of the stuff on the lid well I suppose what we need to do is just dispose of that one carefully. 